I did this really cool DIY project the other day and I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know why I didn't share it when I first did it, but I'm gonna make another one because I liked it so much. This is a DIY dog bed. It's really ideal for small and medium breeds. Um, as you can see, I have an old tire here. The companies, um, businesses actually have to pay to dispose of old tires. So they'll almost always give them to you for free. You should be able to get one for free at your local garage, at a tire shop. Um, a lot of places have them hanging around and they pay to get rid of them. So they're happy if you'll take one off their hands. So I got this one for free. I wiped it down, kind of got all the um, dirt and um, you know clumps of mud and stuff off of it. I have it up on this sawhorse out in my driveway because we're going to spray paint it. Now, I use Rust-Oleum spray paint. Um, this is a kind that I really enjoy. I use it for a lot of DIY projects. This is their gloss, so it'll be kind of shiny. It's this nice, like, lavender, light purple color. You can choose any color you want. You don't even have to paint it if you don't want to, but obviously that just kind of kicks it up a notch and makes your bed look a little bit better. Um, this is also a really great, cheap, but awesome gift that you could give somebody if you have a pet owner on your list that um, you might be thinking of giving a gift sometime soon. So anyway, I use the Rust-Oleum. This is the glossy one. Um, I get the kind for projects like this that really have to cover a lot. I get the kind that has paint and primer in one. And make sure that you get the kind that bonds to whatever material you're using. Some spray paints only bond to um, like wood or metal. This one will bond to plastic and rubber and things like that. So make sure you get a kind that will bond to rubber. And then we're just gonna spray paint our tire. This is the fun part. My tire's all dry, so now it's time to turn it into a dog bed. You can use any stuffing or blankets or pillows that you have um, around your home. I have this old arm pillow of my daughter's that she doesn't use anymore, which fits in there perfectly, as you can see. And then over the top, I'm just gonna use this old blanket, uh, also of my daughter's. We have hundreds of blankets. Um, Molly likes it already. Um, I like using reused things. One, it recycles old things. And two, when you reuse the material from around your house, it already smells like your home, your family, um, and makes your dog feel more comfortable. So as you can see, I used a color on the tire that matched the blankets I was gonna use. Um, there's lots of different ways to kind of decorate it, make it your own, make it match your home. One thing I will mention, the spray paint, it smells kind of strong. So as you can tell, this is gonna be an outdoor bed for my dogs out here on the patio. Uh, but if you're gonna use it inside, just make sure you let it dry. You probably wanna do like seven to 10 days just to make sure that you don't bring that smell into your home because you don't want your whole house to smell like spray paint. 